gentlemen, this next Our match is set for another episode of NRW Charge. Charge. And from it's a Grudge Train match. Center in our Making Colorado. his way to the ring, hailing from Monsai, Colorado. XJ what? Chaos! What a way to kick off NRW Charge. We got a triple threat match, Charles Duffy. Oh, man. What a matchup it should be. And XJ Chaos. And his he opponent. had himself quite a match. Making his way to the ring. Yeah. Yeah. At 250 pounds. Hailing from California. Anaya! As did this man, Anaya. Well, he had himself quite a week last week on NRW Charge. As he teamed up with his partner, the NRW champion, Hoodlum, and they defeated Creek Show. Oh, what a match that was. If you missed that, folks, you've got to go back and watch that one. that he belongs back in the NRW title picture. You know, ever since Never Broken, he, he was out of action until Ignition at, at, at Milestone. We saw Ronin make a uh, triumphant uh, return. We saw him uh, just a little over a week ago on a, another episode of Ignition. Indeed. Where he was also victorious. And now, in a triple threat match, boy, if Ronin could pull this out, I think he would be uh, well on his way to uh, getting back in that NRW title picture. Oh, oh look at and that. Uh, that's, they just sent XJ of, right a out. A little bit of an alliance between Ronin and Anaya. And they, these two might want to go one-on-one. -on -one. But let's talk about XJ for a little bit. Yeah, XJ, he ended the streak. He ended Cormac Battles. Singles match, undefeated streak. Oh, he at, did. At milestone and five, and in impressive fashion. I gotta tell you, Lucas Bradwell, that was definitely one of my favorite matches from Milestone Five. Yeah. You know, uh, I, I'm I'm impressed by this guy XJ. I wasn't quite sure about him before that, but he definitely proved himself to me in that match. Right, he put on a he put on a show. That's for sure. Oh, collision there. It looks like Ronan getting the best of an eye on that one. Oh, oh look at that. XJ sneaks in the ring. Ooh, and. Going right for Ronan. Taking it to the Gothic Superstar. Let's see what XJ has in store for Ronan. Well, Ronan able to counter. Oh, wow, what a kick from the Gothic Superstar. Setting him up. Oh, setting him up. Nice. Oh, and rolls it. Oh, wow. Suplex into a submission hold. He's looking to end this right away. Oh, oh. what a kick. Huge kick by Anaya. Takes out Ronin. And now, oh, that, oh. Double, that double underhook that Anaya, we've seen him use in the past. That's right. And, oh. Whoa. Big clothesline. Did you hear that? Ronin. Now. Get, gets whipped in the corner and oh. both of Anaya's opponents are in a bad way. Oh. Man. Anaya, has, he just, he seems to have a new confidence, so even more confidence ever since that match at Milestone against Al Snow. Well. Oh, what is this? Oh, actually able to, to reverse this and now backslide, gets a two count. Well, as we know, Anaya earned the respect of Al Snow at Milestone. Sure did. And that definitely did something for his career. Definitely gave him some newfound momentum going forward here in NRW. He is a major player. He is. In NRW. Oh, you got to wonder. Oh, oh, wow. And you got to wonder how odd is it that, you know, Anaya, you got to think he's looking to get to that next level, maybe become NRW champion, but his best friend, his brother, Hoodlum is NRW champion. It's a well, little awkward situation. It'll definitely be interesting if that ever comes to pass, but. 
you have to think whoever comes out victorious in this triple threat matchup has got to be, you know, in line, at least a consideration for a title match eventually. Well, and then don't forget Danger Dean. He oh. holds that briefcase with that open contract. Yes, he, he does. He in at any moment. I was trying to forget about that, but well, he, 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 he does. Transpired last week, he almost cashed in, and Anaya was the one who stopped him from cashing it in. That was a great move by Anaya. Yeah. Definitely helped out his partner, yeah, Hoodlum. Oh, wow. oh, wow! Takes out XJ. Wow. And now look at what's Ronan look doing. Ronan going to the top. Oh, oh, geez. Looks like a car wreck on the outside. These guys. Definitely, everyone in this match has something to prove. Pulling out all the stops. Ronan looks to be in control. He's got XJ back in the ring. Anaya's on the outside. Ronan can take advantage here and get this victory. He can. He's definitely the aggressor. Moving in on. Oh, look at that. Look at those cross face punches there. Once again, no, you know, Ronan, he's got something to prove. He, it, Never broken, but very bad team in his mouth. They put him out of action for three months. And the, oh, oh, XJ trying to. Oh, wow. Oh, reversal. Ooh. Oh, another reversal. These. Reversal after reversal here. Ooh. And oh. Wow. XJ finally able to hip toss over Ronan, and that, now Anaya gets back in the ring and is meted with the boot. Again, going for that hip toss. Oh. Can he? And, oh. oh, yeah. And I had that scouting. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, goes in for a cover. Cut off at the pass by Ronan. Not going to see that happen. This match has been going on for quite some time. Don't forget, this always has comes into play in every match from now on. That the CEO, Titus Machiavelli, he made the rule, time limit draw. Don't, that, that if it goes in over the time limit, that it could be a draw. This match has a 15 minute time limit. We're already well through halfway. That's that right. Limit. Well, hopefully that doesn't come into play in this matchup because this, this match is great. I tell you what, I definitely want to see a winner here. Ruin a, a match. It could ruin a title match. It could. It was definitely a controversial decision by the establishment to put that into place. I know the fans weren't too happy about that. I wasn't too happy about that. But nonetheless, oh wow! A kick to the face there. He goes in for a cover. One. Ooh, wow! XJ makes the save there. This match is still going on. Thanks to XJ. Spins it around. Ooh, atomic drop. Oh! Big gorilla uppercut there. What a move. We are over the halfway point of this matchup with a 15 minute time limit draw. And it looks like all the individuals in this match are already worn out. Oh, well, they have Some, been. Something's got to get. These guys have just been giving it their all since the opening bell. I mean, you can see there. Wow. Naya the ball. Oh. And look, look, look at that, he's going back and forth with XJ like a yo-yo. Oh. Wow. He's got, oh, wow. What a fall. Did you hear that? Did you hear that thud? Could have broken some ribs on that fall on the apron. Ooh. And what's, what's Ronan going for here? Oh, oh, well, looked like he was trying to get back in the ring. XJ cuts him off and now hangs him up on those ropes. <laughs> oh. 
Wow, this is this is pure chaos, Lucas Bradwell. Oh, sunset flip by Ronan. One, two, oh. Oh, Ronan two count. Stole a victory here in this triple threat match. He did. I don't want to overstate the importance. Of this, it's this could go a long way. Oh wow! Any of these guys' careers. What a thud. Yeah, you cannot say that enough, Lucas Bradwell. What a what a big win this would be for any oh, of these guys. The gorilla oh. draw by Anaya. And Anaya, he's, he's become a star here in NRW. And now he's got a chance to wait a minute. Danger Dean. Danger What's he Dean doing out here? Out and uh, we, we know that last week. Oh, what? It Last week, Anaya stopped Dean from cashing in that briefcase that's got the co open contract. And thank goodness he did. Oh. Dean is a. Dean oh, what? Anaya's went to the back. Anaya chased out. Where'd he go? He. And, and now what? It's, I, right now, I, who knows? I, what? Maybe Anaya's chased him out to a parking lot. I don't know, but. They just went running right out of here. This is a one on one matchup now. The distraction was a, I guess you could call it a success from Danger Dean because Anaya is out of here. Oh, oh huge wow. Huge kick. And Ronan doesn't wow. take advantage, but uh, he's hobbling on that leg. One, two. Ooh. I, I think delaying, delaying that pinfall attempt hurt Ronan. You know, hammerlock. Wow, look at that. Wrench, wrenching on the arm. Of, and, that, and that's that injured arm. That's the arm that Ronan, he injured at Never Broken that put him out of action. Indeed, he's had for several months. well documented the problems ah. with that arm on Ronan. And XJ knows about it clearly. And he's targeting that arm. XJ, oh. you, know, you, look at, you look at his appearance and you, you just don't think that he's... That's real in the ring, but he is. He's oh, oh, wow, wow. Oh, and this could be it. XJ Chaos. Oh, just a second away from winning this triple threat match. Of course. Wow. I don't know if you can call it a triple threat match anymore. But well, it started out as one at least. Wow, this is, you never know what is going to happen here. How are we doing on time? It looks like we only about three minutes on Titus Machiavelli's new world. Oh man. This match had a 15 minute time limit. We're, we're getting close to the we're getting close to that. The that clock, mark. the clock's a ticking, Lucas less, Bradwell. Less Ooh. Wow. Well, that's definitely Created an interesting dynamic here that we all get to get to deal with now, thanks to the establishment. Two minutes and, remaining. Well, two minutes remaining is what, what what we just heard. Well, I was certainly hoping. This match would uh, wouldn't that, that wouldn't be a factor in, but it's it's the clock is ticking down here. But look look. needs to speed up his offense. What he's gonna do here? Look, he's going for it. Oh wow, XJ into a neck breaker. Chaos theory, and this could be it. Holy cow, that was. XJ's gonna take it. No. Wow. No one's kicks out of that. No one. We got just a little over a minute left, and this is. Sixty seconds left in the time limit. Sixty seconds. These guys got to pick things up here. Either XJ or Ronan has to definitely pick up their pace and try to end this, end this matchup. Ronan. 
in position on the top rope there. What's he gonna do? We've been seeing him go up top a lot lately. Oh, big frog splash! Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Both men reeling here, holding the ribs. Look at that devastating frog splash from Ronan. Look at this. Oh, goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, the time limit has expired, resulting in a draw. What? No way. You've got to be kidding me. You say the crowd, they want to see this match go on. They, they certainly do, and I do. I'd like to see a winner here, wouldn't you? I, I, don't, I don't understand this at all. And look at this. Yeah, there you go. Well, at least we get to see that much. Well, a, a little. We don't get a definite winner. Show of mutual respect between Anaya and Ronin. Yes. Ah. Oh. I would have really liked to see a winner there. That was a great matchup. It was a great matchup, but unfortunately, well, what else is due? One of Titus's rules screws things up. Well, yeah, we can thank the commish for that or well, the, the CEO. Have, we've got more in RW charge action still to come. I, we've got we got Danger Dean in action, so stay tuned. The Mercury Pro Wrestling Academy is the only establishment in Colorado to get professional wrestling training from professionals with connections available nowhere else. MPWA is the official training facility of NRW Pro Wrestling and offers a training program that focuses on the full professional wrestling experience, including proper fundamentals, in-ring technique, cardio conditioning, and much more. Here you will also have access to Grudge MMA Training Center's complete list of courses and equipment, as well as attending NRW's tapings and major events, getting up close and personal with world-class talent. If you are serious about being a professional wrestler, then MPWA is the place for you. Located off of I-76 in Sheridan, inside Grudge MMA Training Center in Arvada, Colorado. Definitely let a lot of us down. I was a huge Danger Dean fan. Uh, I, I don't know what to say for this guy. Definitely made the wrong decision, Lucas Bradwell, even though it may have been the decision that saved his wrestling career. Up and coming, Mario Banger. His opponent. 
making his way to the ring by way of Denver, Colorado, weighing in at 220 pounds, Mario Banger! Mario Banger is career so far is made out of a mixed bag. You said that again, he debuted on Ignition, and what an impressive debut it was. The longest training chef in NRW history. What would that do for Mario Bender's career? Oh, come on. That gives him just the boost he needs. You know he's looking for that here. We're, we're underway. Remember, this match has a 20 minute time limit. Let's hope this one doesn't. That doesn't come into play. Lock up. Mario Vander definitely has a size advantage in the, and in the strength department. But Dean, I don't, is there anybody smarter than Danger Dean when it comes to his, the in ring ability and, and just how to manipulate his opponent? Ah, uh, that is a hard question held, to answer. That's how he held the NRW title for 463 days. He did. A record setting title reign. And whether you, you like the way he did it or not, he defeated Chavo Guerrero at Milestone 5. Oh, wow. Look at that. Mario Dean getting out of there right in now. a big hurry. Yeah, Mario Vendor's gotten to Danger Dean a little bit. The sellout, the NRW's prostitute. Oh, there you go. Pulling back oh. in there. Oh. oh. Got an arm bar there, Amaria Vander. But yet, even though he's no longer the commissioner, we hell we see just as much of him as CEO. Does he, I mean, don't don't you think he would have more responsibilities than to be out here? Danger Dean's match? Well, thought even when he was commissioner, he should have more responsibilities than being out here for all the matches, but I guess what do I know? But yeah, we're definitely seeing a lot of him. Surprise, we, we don't have the interim commissioner out here, Lawrence Ritz. Well, would not surprise me one bit if we still see him. You got to wonder, where, where's Roberto Padilla? Is he on another assignment? Find, finding uh, the next German superstar? Huh, how'd that work out? He's he's probably at the at the victory party for the establishment, getting things started early. Well, that, that party's probably been going on for a while. Oh, Ooh. big leg drop, Danger Wow. Dean wow. You know, this, this youngster, Mario Vander, he's. He can learn a little bit from Danger Dean on when to take advantage of your opponents. Yeah, hang him up on the ropes there. And Dean now charging towards Mario, but oh, oh. And, uh, wow, awkward landing, but that's gonna hurt, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah, oh, great. Titus Mongabelli in the face of Mario Van taunting him. Really, like we need that. Leg sweep by Danger and ah, uh, working on that leg. You know, Danger Dean never lacked confidence, but you gotta think his his confidence is at an all-time high. Oh, oh, oh! Now that he's got the establishment solidly in his corner. Well. You have to think so. You can tell by his demeanor and just his oh, the presence back. in the building. And, and the crowd chanting Super Mario. Well, he needs to become Super Mario and get back in this matchup. Oh, on the leg once again. Danger Dean is methodically targeting the leg there. Well, just like all the greats he Finds a weak spot on his opponent, and that's what he goes after. Oh, duck 
Rakes under and rake to, oh, like rake to the Ooh. eye and now a, a kick to the thigh. What a lethal fury of kicks from Danger Dean. Oh, running knee. Titus, you can see that he looks, looks to be pretty happy with his newest acquisition in the establishment. He does. And he's certainly proud of himself for acquiring Danger Dean, for acquiring the soul of Danger Dean. What, what is this, Dean? Look, almost looks like he's going for, what, a, possibly a sharpshooter here. Oh, look at that, he's got a sharpshooter. Oh man, he's wrenching it in. Yeah, that works not only on that, that bad knee, but the back. What's the happening? Bad, oh, wait a minute. Now look who's out. Anaya. What's? Anaya comes out. Well, turnabout's fair play. Dean came out earlier in the show during that triple threat match. And now, oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Roll up by Mario. One, two, three. Mario Banger. Oh, my goodness. Here is your winner, Mario Banger. The biggest victory of Mario Banjo's career. Definitely, what an impressive victory. I mean, uh, he he's a, he's a beat Danger Dean. That's a huge upset. And the CEO, well, you know, he's got to be irate about this. Hey. Well, uh, I for one don't care, Lucas Bradwell. Well, what a victory. No, oh. come on. Yeah, Oh, no. No. Another spear. Come on. And Dean, the sore loser that he is. You know, Mario can't even can't even enjoy his victory. Ah, oh, Dean makes me sick. What, what, what is he thinking? And well. well. He says I guess that's that he's what he's thinking. He says that he's the next champion. He's got the briefcase. Remember, he can cash it in at any time. Well, who knows when he'll cash it in. Well, up next, we've got Lockett's action as NRW's resident mean girl, Angel Trinity, the NRW champion, Lockett champion, takes on the new member of the establishment, Daisy, and that match is next. NRW Video On Demand site is the place to rent or purchase digital copies of NRW major events, past seasons of NRW Weekly Show Charged, and exclusive compilations. Events that feature all your favorite NRW stars as well as international superstars such as Chavo Guerrero, Al Snow, Christopher Daniels and Frankie Kazarian, ODB, Nikita, and more. Just go to NRWProWrestling.com and the NRW TV section to find your favorite episodes and events. Our next match is a locket match and is a non-title matchup. However, if Daisy gets the victory, she will get a shot at the title at Shocktoberfest. And making her way to the ring from Denver, Colorado, Daisy! Well, you heard that. Daisy competing for a for a upcoming title shot. That's, that's, that, that's huge. Isn't that huge? Shocktober. The establishment pays off 
for a day. And her opponent making oh. her way to the ring. Well, she is I hate to the agree NRW with you. Lockett Champion. Hailing from Denver, Colorado. Angel Trinity. And making her first appearance since becoming the first ever NRW Lockett Champion. Angel Trinity. Oh, what? What a match she had at Milestone. Oh, oh, the house down. One of the best matches I've ever seen. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter, man, woman. That was an awesome match. Absolutely. Uh, title but this match has a lot of on, on the line for Daisy. It certainly does. This match has a 10 minute time limit. All right. Woohoo, time limits, huh? Yeah. So. <laughs> well, unfortunately, when you are, are uh, working for a control freak like the CEO, Titus Machiavelli, yeah. you got a lot of rules. That's right. Oh, look at the power from the Lockettes champ. She, she has the power advantage over over Daisy, that's for sure. But Daisy now with this this new attitude that she has, she's a very dangerous woman. Could you imagine if you got Dean, who has that briefcase, he could cash that thing in at any time. He becomes NRW champion. Daisy, she could become the, the Lockett champion. The establishment would... Hold all the time. I can't even imagine. Let's let's hope that that is not the case, Lucas Bradwell, because, wow, we think they have some, some leverage and control now. There'll be no stopping them. Well, I want to remind everyone, our main event still to come, the Canadian Pit Bulls, the new NRW Tag Team Champions, they take on the newly reformed tag team of Dustin Urich and Cormac Battle. Oh, That's wow. That's our main event for the evening. Wow, what a tag team match that should be, huh? This has been quite a, quite a card here on NRW Charge tonight. Oh, look at that. Oh, Beautiful. look at that bridge. Wow. Wow. Angel Trinity, she is sensational. You may, She may is not, may so athletic. Her at times, but. So athletic. Oh. Ooh. One, one woman I definitely don't like the attitude of is Daisy. I just, oh, you can say that again, Lucas she Bradwell. Is she a, is, she is, this young lady is making some poor decisions. That's for sure. Oh, wow, look at that takedown. You know, Angel Trini has sort of started to win over the crowd a little bit with her, her wrestling ability. I think this crowd appreciates just how skilled she is in the ring. Oh, that's right. And that is why she is the Lockheed's champion. Yes, yeah, she definitely impressed a lot of people at Milestone, as we've touched on already. But I mean, oh, ooh, nice hip toss. I just can't stress that enough. If you did not see Milestone Five. You have got to go view it, and you can view that. Where can you view that, Lucas Bradwell? NRWProWrestling.com. Check our video on demand service, and of course, while you're there, why read a, a behind the mic with Lucas Bradwell in my blog. Oh, there you go. This is shameless self promotion. Daisy, look at look at that bit. Right around by the face, it looks like. Oh, jeez. Dropping the elbow right across the throat. Well, a few months ago, you never would have thought you'd hear an angel chant from this NRW nation. But. Well, the NRW... Nation can definitely appreciate great talent when they see it. That is one thing you can definitely say. Well, the Lockheads, are, it is, you know, the only women's division in Colorado. Yes, it and is. And you Very look at the true. talent from, from Daisy to Angel Trini, Nazi, and of course, the young Des de Monet. Uh huh. It's just unbelievable. So much talent here at NRW, Lucas Bradwell. The Mercury Pro Wrestling Academy continues to bring us great talent. Indeed. Ooh, wow, oh, look yeah. at that. 
Look how fluid, how fluid she moves in the ring. Angel Trinity. Oh! oh. Flying cross body. One, two, oh. Ooh. Wow. You know, we may not agree with her actions, but you, you can't put anything past Daisy. She is. Oh, look at that power bomb. Yeah. Echo in here. Oh, come on. Two, three. Oh, oh really? The foot, the feet were on the ropes. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner. What? Daisy. How did the ref not see that? Well, Daisy, she gets a title shot at Shocktober. Well, wow. And Angel, Angel Trinity is beside breathe. herself. She is. And they, well, but she's still champ. Still champ, yeah. I was on title, but now Daisy, yeah, she's signaling that she's coming for that title. Uh oh. She's, well, the establishment could have the Lockhead champion as well. Wow. I can't well, believe it. Well, coming up next, the main event, tag team action. The NRW Tag Team Champions, the Canadian Pit Bulls. They take on Yurik in battle. to acknowledge Phil White and PRW Projects as the official graphic design company of NRW Sports Entertainment, specializing in custom artwork, creative and graphic design, and the highest quality promotional materials. NRW would like to thank Lady Luck Tattoo for being an official sponsor of NRW Sports Entertainment. Lady Luck is a clean and professional establishment with amazingly talented artists and piercers. Located in Aurora, Lady Luck is the place to go for any new tattoos and piercing. NRW would like to thank Shea L as an official sponsor of NRW. Located in Lakewood, Colorado, Shea L features a variety of services to suit any need, including hair, nails, wax, skin care, and tanning at affordable prices. At a combined weight of 450 pounds, they are the NRW Tag Team Champions, the Canadian Pitbulls! Uh, and as if this team didn't have enough to rank now, a milestone five, the Canadian Pitbulls with it. An absolute travesty of a victory. Well, they, they took out Mars Ferox. Mars is going to be out for the next four to six months. Oh, you know, we keep referencing Milestone. I mean, that's so many moments that to change the landscape of NRW as we know it, Lucas Bradwell. And that was definitely one of them. That was... Four to six months. That is very unfortunate, and we wish him a speedy recovery. That leg injury. Of course, this match, once again, non title. event here on NRW Charged. Oh man, I've been waiting for this one all night, Lucas Bradwell. This should be perhaps a perhaps real barn burner. Yes, it should. Perhaps the greatest tag team in the Rocky Mountain region, the Canadian Pit Bulls. Well, their resume speaks for itself. They've won just about every major tag team title there is. 
Yeah. Almost every promotion around. Indeed, this team has been all around the country, all around the world even. You know, Eric Angel, he's, he's sort of the ringleader between these two. Elias Castaneda is more of the, the technical technical wrestler and the, the, the muscle, so to speak. Uh, to, to say the ringleader, I just, he's more of the mouth of the team, more of the... So when you always hear talking when you see the pit bulls. Oh, wow. And a, a, a pit, Ooh. I guess that would be a pit bull dog, wouldn't it? Yeah, there you go. One, two. Ooh. And, you know, you got to wonder if, if, if Yurik and, and Kermit Battle are a little bit rusty. It's been a few months since they've teamed together. You got to wonder if, if Kermit Battle is 100%. Oh, there's there's no way he can be after I mean, he, after what we saw him go through. Next day chaos. It was oh. just unbelievable brutality. I tell you. Oh wow! Come on. Almost bullying. I mean. Bullying the, the, I realize he's a bangy, but come on, he, this isn't high school anymore. Well, hate to see it. Oh, jeez. Very intense, he's a very violent individual. Oh, and now, and what, is, what is Lawrence Ritz doing out here right now? Well, he's the active commissioner, is that? Yeah, he's the, he is the interim commissioner. He's, we are on a search for a full-time commissioner. I wonder who would take that job with, oh. with, with the CEO as your boss. Well, the rumors are afloat for sure. I'm sure you've heard them as well. I mean, they're, they're out there. Yeah. Maybe that's what Roberto Padilla is doing. Maybe he's politicking for a job. Well, that's certainly one, one theory. <laughs> the Pitbulls Ooh. are in complete control of this matchup, basically from the bell. Pretty much. Looking very dominant here. You know, Dustin, oh, what is that? Oh, he, that did, oh he wow. I mean, put himself. That was. Did he sacrifice himself? I, the is that what happened there? I don't know what we. That was. Oh, uh, roll up. Ooh. I think that's exactly what happened. No, no, no. Oh. 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 Spinning neck breaker. Wow. And, and Dustin Yurik, he's got to make a tag. You know, Yurik, he's very skilled in the ring, but he was out of action for almost five years. Yes, he, indeed. He was retired. Came yeah. out of retirement because I, I think Eric Angel, who was used to be his arch nemesis, was kind of running roughshod over Cormac Battle and decided enough was enough. Indeed, Yurik so felt like and, he had to step up, and, and now Cormac, Cormac Battle... Battle with the, the shoulder tackle in this thing. We've reckless, seen that. The reckless Cormac battle. Really? Hey, hey. Talk about a guy who has something to prove, Lucas Bradwell. One, two, he, oh. You know, he, he has no regards for his for his body. He just goes reckless at times. And oh, look think, at that. I think that's how he's won how he won eight matches in a row. But oh, oh, the oh. arrogance cost him there. You don't want to showboat with a guy like Eric Angel. That will cost you big time, as it did Core McBattle just now. Yeah, it's absolutely. And now the tag team champions once again in control. Uh oh. What's what's Elias gonna do? Uh -huh. Oh uh -huh. no! Uh -huh. Wow! Put a knee into the head of his partner. Wow! Core McBattle was able to get out of the way, and he made a tag to Yurik, I think. That was a miscalculation from the tag team champs. And Yurik, look at this, sizing up Elias. He doesn't see him. This isn't smart. Oh, no. Oh. Ooh. Yurik's going to set him up. Got him in a fireman's carry there. Eric Angel making the save oh. there for his partner, yeah, Elias. And, and the referee, this is what's cost this tag team in the past. Cormac oh, come Battle. on. Oh. Cormac Battle needs to get out of there. What is he doing? doesn't have enough ring awareness to get out of the ring. Oh, well, you can tell the inexperience of this team is... Costing him here. Court oh, Battle's letting his. Eric Angel has the title, and the 
letting his temper get the best of him. Oh no! Dustin Urich. Oh no! Oh no! Looks like the pit bulls are gonna win this one. One. Oh no! Three. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your winners: the Canadian pit bulls. Wow. That's wow. In a point that they are the best tag team, and maybe, maybe there's not a tag team right now that can that can challenge it because the the Orm, well, they won't be around for a while. Uh, uh, I don't know what to say. Wait a minute. What? Mark it's Yaden. Mark Curry Yaden. What's he doing here? Mark Curry Yaden. He's getting his revenge. He's getting. His revenge. Holy, holy crap! Where did he come from? He, he came, came from nowhere. He, I, 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 he, he oh no! Oh no! Oh, double team by the pitbull. The numbers game got the best of Mercury Yaden, but there is no Mars. Oh come on! There's no Mars to help. No! Him. Come on! Yaden. Yaden's got a fight here. Oh, but he throws throws Angel out of the way. Oh wow! Elias. The tenacity. Wait a minute! A chair. A, a fan just threw a chair in the ring. And oh! oh. Oh, wow. Mercury Yaden going to town on Elias. And, oh, Yaden's lost, lost it. He's lost it. He almost went after Ritz. Oh. And, what is, and what's and gotten Elias, into Yaden? Elias is out here now. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, at, he's got the, the leg of Elias. Oh. No, what? Yaden has lost it. Could, well, do you blame him? I, I don't happened? think anybody can blame him, but wow. He just took down the, the tag team champs. I can't believe it. He's out here for blood tonight. Wow. 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 That's all I can say. I'm, I'm speechless. I can't believe it. I get Mercury in with that statement saying, let's, he makes the statement there. Wait up. Oh, Mercury in going after Titus now. It's about time. I finally get what he has coming. One down, one to go. Eric Angel has a chair. Get it. One down, one to go. 